All right, well, let's jump back into it. And yeah, I could probably save time if it's jumped into the browser, but whatever. So Mac won't go to work for me? Oh, we actually got an ad this time. Close that, jump in, and here we are, back in Enchanted Cave. No. All right, let's load the old one. And yes, I'm on floor nine. <clears throat> let's get going. So there's the green lizard. There's the red goo. Let's kill these guys for a little bit of easy money. Kill this guy for the gold behind him. It's a very interesting game, this one. An iron shield, that looks a lot better than my current one. Yep, a lot better. It'll be interesting to see why I keep when I basically use my uh, wings here. But I'm getting deeper and deeper. Now let's go this way, we'll get this stuff down here. So yeah, I'm not sure if like the, uh, you know, some of these like uh, rooms are like, you know, maps are basically like random or not. It looks like some of the maps, they aren't random, but they're like preset to be like, you know, certain designs. Basically, I might as well do this just to sort of showcase it right now, but basically on um, Steam, there's an Enchanted Cave, um, cave 2. And the reason I'm basically playing the first one is just to sort of like, you know, as a precursor before I jump into like the second game here. Come on, please work. There we go. Mouse is being annoying, but whatever. And yeah, this was like green, green light, came on Steam. But we basically have like this like RPG indie roguelike dungeon crawler, the Enchanted Cave 2 on Steam. No idea how it basically plays, but uh, I basically plan to buy this at some point, and I'll know I don't have it yet. But I plan to buy one a couple on sale, and probably showcase it because it looks a lot more interesting than the original, like you know, Flash one. Interesting concept, I think at least. Our right, shield. Our right, one shield. Another cap. The lower hat's more better, I guess. Ooh, skeletons. I wonder how tough they're gonna be. I'll try to make up the 419 so we can sell more stuff. A ninja amulet grants an instant kill chance of 10%. Amulet might increase damage. You know, I'm not sure if it's better or worse, this amulet here. The instant kill sounds cool, but I think the extra damage might be helping me a little bit early on. Lord jacket. Not better than my, my vest, won't worry about it. At some point I plan to fight a skeleton, but we're gonna wait a little bit before doing so. 
Oh, so look at that. You can actually see how it changes your um, stats when you, like, you know, hover stuff over each other. That's interesting. Now let's put it on, I guess. All right, I'm gonna have to fight a bat or a skeleton to get through to uh, stuff. Floor done. Hey, it's a kill. Hmm. Stat gem. I want that, I think. Oh, skeleton hurts a little bit, and it's hard to kill. There we go, we killed that guy. I don't think that's worth doing, but whatever. It's done now. Another level done. This isn't something nice about this game. It's very quick to play. A dwarven caveman. Interesting. He's probably tougher than a skeleton. Yep, by a lot. Woo! Insta kill! Let's see if I can make it to 419, that'd be cool. The tougher monsters make the insta-kill ammo stuff worth using, but... The weaker monsters, I probably just want extra damage. Alright, how to get through this one? Ooh, steel gauntlets. Those are better. Excellent. You know what? Let's go back. I'm going to basically head back to uh, kill the lizard next to that treasure chest over there. Thick work pants. Yeah, these are better for a while, I think, so we're not going to worry about them. New shop reached. When you escape, you will now start at the shop on floor 9 the next time you enter the cave. So there you go. Basically, as she transfers higher floors, she gets to like start up, you know, faster, you know, in the, into a dungeon. That's good, I think. We meet again. Did you know that each time you restart a quest, you start at the next to last shop you visited? That's right. If your shop on floor 19 is the deepest you've been, you'll start at the shop on floor 9 next time. So basically, that's where we'll start next time. Now I can just go in here and I can sell stuff. Sell lots of stuff. Try 
Trade that. Alright, so you can't trade this stuff, the um, eyes or anything. Or the wings. And it looks like you do get better stuff in the shop as you progress deeper and deeper. So you got more amulets, more rings. Different, different stuff. I could probably buy a health potion if I want to right now, but... I think what I'm going to do instead... Okay, we got mages and stuff. There's a stone ring. I think we're going to say this is going to be it for this level. I'm just going to back off. And here's what I keep. I keep ninja amulet, I guess. And I got these stats down here. I guess it's worth knowing. It's basically, you know, um, stuff on uh, mobiles they want to buy for this stuff. So now I'm floor nine. Congratulations, blah blah. Don't need this knife. Don't need this because you know we got this other stuff. So that's the thing to sort of you know hate and like about this game. You keep your artifacts, but you don't keep um, anything else besides the artifacts. Well, let's kill stuff. At least I got a good weapon, so I'm happy with that. There's an iron helmet. Ooh, 49 defense. I love how these guys are stuck behind the gold so they can't get to them. That's interesting. I suppose, you know, it's probably good to skip this because that guy's, you know, going to hurt me a little bit, so we'll avoid him. And that's better, so we'll put that on. Yes. Um, for those who have basically played Ragnarok online... Uh... Well, that's great, and not so great. I guess I'll get a lot of gold from that artifact, but whatever. But yes, for those who've played Ragnarok Online, there's a certain like, character class you can play in that game called the Rogue. And one of the things about his character race is that avoid the strong, prey on the weak, or more or less is what, you know, um, the paraphrase is, what they're all about. That's basically what I have to do here. I have to prey on the weak and, you know, avoid the strong. True roguelike fashion, basically. I'm already down 120 health, that's kind of a nuisance, but whatever. That could be useful. And that's stuff I should use, by the way, the small health potion, so... As I progress, I want to use that at some point. Oh, skeletons have popped up. So, I'm not sure if this game is a roguelike, but, you know, the monsters are random, at least. They're placement, more or less, I, I guess. Sort of. Not really. Whatever, I'm basically playing this game because it's, like, you know, a precursor to playing the second game. I'll come after this. Alright, we're gonna have to fight a skeleton again. Not worth a find that skeleton. That could be useful.
Hooray for insta kills! Might as well use that now. It's not like I'm gonna keep it when I get, you know, to like the uh, floor 19. Or actually, I could have sold it, couldn't I? That's really what I want to do. I want to sell my stuff. And we're gonna skip the skeletons. And we'll skip all those chests because the, the lizards in the way. The green lizards. At least we'll skip these guys. Cool. Kill this one. We'll skip those guys. Will I be able to make it, I wonder? Sell my uh, steel leggings for some money. And the fright. What's this? A Mithril Longsword. That is actually going to give me some uh, massively increased attack. I wonder if it's going to help me a lot with uh, this stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Put that on. I can't keep them if for a long sword when I like, you know, I keep going, but whatever. Air amulet. So that gives me protection against the air, obviously. Put that there, put that there. We'll put this back here, we know it's going to cost me a whole lot of, like, you know, offense because I'm not probably going to keep going too long. So, we'll basically sell what I have here. Oh, it's only giving me 100 gold for that. I thought it'd be worth more, so... You only sell this stuff at basically a quarter of its price, I guess, when you're selling it to the shops, unfortunately. I am for a lot mo a lot though. Wealthy individual? Yes I am. You know if I want to I could sell this stuff. Make as much money as possible. And depending on circumstances.
Grab what I can before leaving. So I found a steel plate legs there, but not much else. <laughs>